On 18 September 1979, the McDonnell Douglas Corporation's suspended maneuvering system was demonstrated to the fire chiefs attending the 106th Annual Convention of the International Association of Fire Chiefs in Kansas City, Missouri. The demonstration scene was a 16-floor hotel under renovation in the center of downtown Kansas City. The participating helicopter and the SMS module were stationed at the Kansas City Downtown Airport, located approximately three miles from the scene of the demonstration. With the SMS suspended beneath it on a 1,000-foot cable, the helicopter proceeded to transport the module over the metropolitan area at 50 miles per hour. Following a precise route, the helicopter maneuvered the SMS between 15 and 20-story buildings to arrive on the simulated fire scene within five minutes after takeoff. SMS quickly docked two floors beneath the location of the fire, and the fireman transferred to the structure to connect the two and one half inch hose to a standpipe. The unit then backed off to begin an exterior water attack of the simulated fire area. To minimize the potential for glass breakage, a fog nozzle was employed in this demonstration rather than the straight stream nozzle that normally would be employed. The point to keep in mind is that the type of helicopter used had never been employed in any previous SMS test or demonstration, and that the helicopter crew that flew this mission had less than two hours of training time with the SMS. Their first experience with a high-rise docking was during the demonstration at the Aladdin Hotel. After deluging the area, the SMS docked at the fire floor. And firemen transferred into the building to return in seconds with an injured victim in a Stokes basket. The SMS then maneuvered to a corner apartment where other victims had been trapped. They were quickly transferred to the SMS.
and were transported to a precision placement and gentle set down of the module in a small grassy area adjacent to the fire scene. While the module was on the ground, these untrained helicopter crewmen were able to maintain a close vertical control with no slack in the 1,000-foot cable. Upon completion of the personnel transfer, the helicopter raised the SMS and returned to the airport helicopter pad. To those present for the demonstration, the suspended maneuvering system had proven again its ability to convey men and equipment to inaccessible areas in high-rise buildings located in congested metropolitan areas. The suspended maneuvering system is now ready for operational deployment.